What's up guys and welcome to the part 9 of tutorial series on how to deploy Flask application on an EC2 instance. Well, I was supposed to end this series by part 8 but uh, recently I received a request from one of the viewer or subscriber for tutorial on how to deploy multiple Flask application on EC2 instance basically running on different ports. So yeah, uh, this tutorial is going to be about the same. So let's get started. So I have already launched the uh, fresh instance and SSH into it. And so as I said, uh, it's a fresh instance. So we will be doing all the configuration from scratch. So let's get started. So we'll start with uh, configuring the instance. So we'll start with sudo apt-get update and it will retrieve all the updates for Ubuntu so once it is done uh, we'll check the python version uh, that comes with Ubuntu version 18.04 that is python 3 hyphen capital V so it is 3.x so that looks good Now we'll check for the uh, pip3 that is package manager for python so it is not installed so we'll simply copy and paste this command to install pip3 yes so it will take a while to get installed So it's taking a bit longer. So it is successfully installed. Now we will require uh, Nginx. So we'll install sudo apt get install Nginx. Yes and then uh, we will require a unicorn 3 so that is sudo apt hyphen get install unicorn 3 yes so and then we will require flask so that we will install via pip3 that is pip3 install flask So now we have uh, successfully installed uh, all the uh, packages uh, that is required to run a Flask application. So now uh, I will create two Flask application here. So we'll quickly create the directory that is mkdir flask app. So this is our first Flask application and I will say mkdir flask app 1. So basically this is uh, another Flask application. So I will go to Flask app first. I will create mkdir templates directory. So basically uh, it's a directory structure. Then mkdir static. And I will do vim app.py. That is from Flask import flask comma render underscore template so if you uh, want some uh, details about uh, this code then you can refer my previous tutorial so uh, i will take the fast forward here so that is app equal to flask name other at app dot route home Def home return render underscore template that is home.html and we will uh, save this file. So the playlist uh, of the uh, tutorial series uh, is in the description so you can 
uh, refer to the previous tutorials so once this is done we'll go to templates and we'll create home.html here it is vim home.html home.html I will quickly say HTML closing HTML and I will say body H1 tag flask application 1 H1 close and body close and we'll save this so once this is done uh, we will go to flask app 1 that is our another flask application and i will say mkdir templates mkdir static i will say vim app.py i'll quickly say from flask import flask and render underscore template so app equal to flask underscore underscore name and then add the red app dot route quickly say return home.html and I will save this and again I will go to templates I will create home.html home.html HTML, oops, HTML close, I'll quickly say uh, body, H1, class, application 2, H1 close and body close so once both the flask application has been created uh, we will move on to creating the service for both of the flask application respectively right so uh, we will be creating two service here uh, that is flask one dot service and flask two dot service for the individual flask application that we have just created so uh, we will move on to uh, etc system d system for creating the service that will be our unicorn service basically right so i will say sudo vim flask one dot service you can name whatever you want right so i'm just naming it as flask one dot service so start with defining unit then description equal to class application one after so if you are looking for a description or if you want to know what we are doing at each line so in my tutorial on creating unicorn as a service i have explained uh, at high level that why we are defining all these lines so you can uh, refer that tutorial user equal to ubuntu group so i will paste the link of that tutorial in description so you can check that out working directory so working directory will be our flask application path that is home you want to class cap execute star 
equal to user when give me con three workers three and will bind with Unix socket Unix colon flask app dot saw changing the mode of that file so I will just uh, copy this whole thing and use this in the flash 2 dot service so I will save this file and now we will create flask 2 dot service and I will paste here so all we need to change here is the working directory path and that is the directory path of our another flask application and I will just change the description to flask application too and rest of the thing remains same and I will save this now we will uh, start the individual service that is sudo service flask1 start so we need to reload the d1 so I will just do sudo and paste this command now I will try to start it again and it started successfully we will do the same for flask2 service and it also started successfully let's check the status of each of the service status so as you can see it's running fine let's check for flask2 and it is also running fine right so once the service has been created uh, now we will um, take a step further for nginx configuration right so it will be under etc nginx sites enable right so here there will be a default configuration file that is default so I'll just remove this file so I'll say sudo rm-r default now here we will create uh, an, a new file uh, that is flask app the sudo vim flask app so here uh, we will define two server right so since uh, two flask application uh, will be running on two different ports right so the first server so this is the same configuration uh, that we have defined in the previous tutorial right uh, nothing new here so it's same like listen at port 80 then our server name that will be our public IP address right paste it here then location port slash or the home and our proxy pass proxy underscore pass and the unix file path that is http unix home ubuntu flask app flask app dot so uh, our first flask application that is flask app will be served on port number 80 now we will define the another server configuration we will just copy and paste it here below now let's say we want to serve the another flask application that is flask app 1 at port 8080 right and we will change the uh, socket file path right so that will be our flask app 1 right and we will save this file 
now we will restart the nginx service that is sudo service nginx restart so it restarted successfully let's check the status if it is running fine or not so it says active running uh, it's running fine right so We clear this so let's go ahead and try to run the application via browser so as you can see at port number 80 our flask application one is running right and if I said port 8080 our flask application 2 is running right so uh, well uh, this is how you can uh, run multiple flask application from an individual or a single EC2 instance, right? Via Unicorn and Nginx, right? So, uh, well, that's it for now. So, if you want me to do the tutorial on any specific service or use case you have, then please leave them in comment. I will try my best to come up with the tutorial for the same. So, as usual, if you have any queries or comments, then please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.